What's up guys, Garrett here with self.dev. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a video with a transparent background so you can get a cool effect like this where the video kind of draws in or something, whatever you want your video to do, but you've got a transparent video so you can see as with the top here, it's got that gray curve and the bottom's got that black curve, but you can clearly see through the video so you can see that background still. So you, the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna get an array of PNGs and then stitch those together in a WebM format. The PNGs have a transparent background, so when we stitch those together, the video has a transparent background. So whatever video you have right now, we are gonna need that to have alpha layer transparency so we can export it as an array of PNGs with a transparent background. Um, I'm gonna be using Premiere Pro for that to export it as, a, as an array of PNGs. You can use Adobe, whatever the Adobe software is to make animations. Adobe Animator, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe After Effects. I think it's After Effects, maybe. Um, but I'm gonna be using Adobe Premiere Pro. You just need some software where you can export it as an array of PNGs with a transparent background. And I'm also going to be using git bash for my command line because we are going to have to run some commands. So you are probably going to need a like a base understanding of like coding to do this. Um, or if you're really good at just copying exactly what I do, you might still get through it. So we are going to need FFmpeg. That's the software we're going to use. So I'm going to have a link to this in the description. Go there now. This is on Windows, so I can't guarantee this will work if you're doing Linux or Mac. There's probably going to be a few different steps to run the command if you're on either one of these. So if you're on Windows, this should work. Otherwise, no promises. We're gonna hover over Windows. We're gonna go to Windows build for Gaian.dev. If that page changes because they like to update that a lot, let me know and I'll remake the video. Now we're gonna go down to Git. We're gonna download the FFmpeg Git full. Now that is gonna come zipped. So we're gonna show that in a folder. We're going to right click on that. We are going to seven zip and then extract here or whatever file, whatever zip software you have, just extract the files there. And I've already got it extracted right here. This is what you should get when you extract it. All we need in here is the bin and then the ffmpeg.exe. We're gonna copy that and you're gonna stick that in a folder with your video. Um, it's just nice to keep everything nice and organized. So I've got this ffmpeg tutorial here and then I've got the ffmpeg.exe. That's what we need. And then I've got my video here as well. We can take a quick look at that. Um, it's a .mov, so Windows doesn't like playing that very well, but that's what it looks like. So now we've got the software we need. Now we need to turn this into an array of PNGs. So I've got Premiere Pro up here. Uh, I've got my video. Um, and then all we're gonna do is, we're not even gonna, we're not gonna edit it here or anything like that. We're just gonna go to File, Export, Media, and then we're gonna change the format to PNG. Can I make this bigger? Nope, I can't zoom in on that. So hopefully you can see this. Um, yeah, we got PNG, presets, custom, export video is checked. The output name, we need to go to our file that we're using. So we're gonna to go to the FFmpeg tutorial. We're gonna make a new folder called array of PNGs and stick them in there. So they're all in their own contained file. And then we wanna make sure include alpha channel is checked and export as sequence. Then we're gonna export that. All right, so now that that is done exporting, we've got our array of PNGs here, all 401 of them. You might have more depending on how long your video is. Mine's only 13 seconds, so I don't have a whole lot, but if it's longer than that, probably have more. So now what we need to do, we need to run FFmpeg on our array of PNGs. So I am gonna use bash. If you don't have git bash installed, look in the description, I'll have a link where you can go download it. We're going to change directories to our desktop. Um, we're going to go to the FFmpeg tutorial here. Now we need to run FFmpeg on our array of PNGs file. So we're gonna do dot slash ffmpeg dot exe. And then we need to say dash i. And then we're gonna, this is, we're saying the input is gonna be array of PNGs. And then inside there, we need to give it the start file. So the file it needs to start on is gonna be 001 for me. So it is, perspective squares zero zero, except instead of zero zero, we are going to say percent zero three. So we're saying there are three digits in the start. So zero zero zero, one, two, three. 
d dot png so the percent zero um, percent zero three d that is basically a variable it's going to loop it's going to increment that by one every time it runs and that's how it's going to get through all of the pngs we have here so make sure this is your start uh, if you've got four zero so it'd be percent zero four if you've got five digits it'd be, be percent zero five d um, so on and so forth if you have any questions on that let me know in the comments i'll try to help you out so we've specified our start file now something else we can do we can say dash r and we can specify the frame rate which i'm going to do we want this to be 60 frames per second so i'm doing dash r 60 and then lastly we want to specify the output file so we will say video dot web m now if we press enter I didn't have a space between PNG and dash R. If we expand that a little bit, yeah, we need a space there. So make sure there's a space between the end of your file name and the dash R if you use that. Um, no path, I forgot the dot here. Say dot slash. So that is saying, hey, it's in the same directory. Why are you not running now? Did I spell something wrong? I probably spelled something wrong. Um, I spelled perspective wrong. Ah, darn spelling errors. This is the biggest mistake in code. All right, cool. Now it runs. Cool. So now we just let this process. It's basically like stitching all our PNGs together into the WebM format that we want it to be in. And it's got like what frame it on, frame it's on, and then the time. All right, cool. And it is finally done here. So now if we go back to our FFmpeg tutorial folder, we've got our video.webm here. As you can see, it's way smoother than the .mov file wanted to play as. And that is how you get the video to have a transparent background. Now, to prove we've got a transparent background, we are going to uh, throw that on a website real quick. So we're going to code test HTML. And I've got base, like a boilerplate HTML file set up here with a linear gradient background. So now we just need to grab its video .webm. And then if we open this with live server, as you can see, we've got our video here. It's not playing because it is in Chrome and Chrome does not autoplay videos if they're not muted. So we need to add muted here. And then we want this to loop. So we'll save that. And then we want this to be 2000 pixels because it's kind of small right now. So now, um, as you can see, it's playing. There's no weird box around it. Uh, 2000 seems like a bit much. Let's go to 1000. And then if we inspect that, let's make sure we've got that over some different backgrounds. So we'll do margin top 100 pixels. That's not on the right element. We need that on the video. Margin top 100 pixels. Margin bottom minus 500 pixels. There we go, cool. So as you can see, it's background is vastly different. Um, the video is still playing nicely. There's no weird box around it. Video is transparent, proof. Ah. All right, cool. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions on that or if you need any help, I will have all the links you need in the description as well as that code that I ran, um, that dot slash ffmpeg.exe and then specifying the input file. I will have it switched out so there's like variables so you can just swap out your file names. Um, give me a thumbs up if this helps you out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so YouTube knows I'm doing good stuff. That helps support the channel. It helps me know that I'm doing good stuff for you guys. And I will see you next time. Peace. Round one.